Here we are at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Welcome to the ball game, folks. I'm Dwayne Kuyper alongside Mike Grucco. This game features the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. The home team starting pitcher, Randy Wolf. The game's first batter is Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes. And the game is underway. His best pitch is his heat, and he throws it off. Ball. And a little low. Just a great looking field today. Hits sharply into left field for a single. Base hit to lead off the Go inning. Now, he's got a good pitch to hit right there, and he put it in the outfield for a single. This is a guy who just knows how to hit. Ball. Misses for a ball. He's the kind of guy managers just love. When he's pitching, the relievers usually get the night off. Great running catch by Polanco. That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. Get on a line. Grabbed by the left fielder. That'll bring up Mike Piazza. Well, the manager can rely on this guy to give you a consistent at bat game after game. Kai, this runner can read pitchers like nobody's business, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him try and steal a bag right here. Ball. One ball, one strike. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. In there for a strike. That ball is driven deep. This part may not be big enough to hold it. Lofton caught it at the wall. And here's the home team lineup. Starting this game for the visiting team, Pedro Martinez. Here's how the defense is set up. Digging in, Jimmy Rollins. The ball is hit down the line. Easy play made by Reyes. Now batting, Lacedo Polanco. It's a pop foul. Nope. Missed for a ball. Part of that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Hit towards first base. Got him for the out. Up next, Bobby Abreu. Popped him up. Right with the easy catch. After one, no score here. Coming to the plate, Cliff Floyd. Line, he dives and makes the stop. That was not an easy play. Stepping in, David Wright. That's one out, here we go. Strike ball. A strike thrown by Wolf. Kipe, I still think fastball changeup is the best combination of baseball. Ground ball hit the other way to the right side. He flips it to the pitcher covering. There's an easy out. Cameron is the next batter. Here we go, that's two 
Two outs and nobody on. He throws a four-seamer, a slider, and a knuckle curve. It's hit back up the middle. He reaches with a base hit. That'll bring up Jason Phillips. Okay, if he's going to feed this guy crumbs because the pitcher's hitting next. He reaches with a two-out single. Balls hit just hard enough to screw to the infield for a base hit. Pulls one on a line. He's on first with a base hit. That's four hits allowed by Wolf. Digging in, Jose Reyes. Kipe, look for them to wave that runner home if it's a ball hit the center. That center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. That'll retire the side, and they leave them loaded. Going into the bottom of the second, the game is scoreless. The next batter is Jim Tomey. Hit to left field. Floyd should have no problem. The ball settles into his glove for the out. Up next, David Bell. That's a strike. This guy will still win games when he doesn't have his best stuff. He's that good. That's a grounder to the right side. And they make the play for an out. Next at the plate, Pat Burrell. The pitch is hit up the middle. He reaches with a base hit. He lined that ball right past the infield, and there was no doubt it was a base hit. Good bit of hit. He tries to pick him off. This pitch is hit towards third. An infield hit by Lieberthal. Next up, Kenny Lofton. Gathers it in with his glove. A defensive lapse and an error given on the play. On that play, it didn't appear the field looked the ball into his glove. The result, a big old error. Now batting, Randy Wolf. Oh, he wants to get this guy. No way you want to give up a hit to your counterpart. Two count. He's got a handful of pitches to choose from. <laughs> Fouled away. And he got him. After two, no score here. At the plate to lead off the inning, Kaz Matsui. Now let's see what the manager's thinking right here. Small ball or big inning? If it's small ball, the batter could be bunting. Nice catch by Rollins. Kai, this quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. The defense needs to pay attention. This guy can lay it down and then beat it out. And the catch is made for the out. Here's Mike Piazza. Hey, two down. 
ball. First pitch in tight. One ball and no strikes. Ball. Two balls and no strikes. Hit towards the shortstop. They get the out. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the game is scoreless. Stepping in, Jimmy Rollins. He hits it to center, and the catch is made by Beltron. Never in doubt. Up next, Placido Polanco. Guy, you can't hit the ball if you don't get the bat off your shoulders. I have no idea what he was looking for. Weekly hit. Floyd will get there. Makes the catch to record the out. The next batter is Bobby Abreu. You better not let this guy get off base. He will run you to death. He's got super... This one's got a chance if it stays fair. That was a nasty pitch. He may not have hit it even if he swung. He crushes it. He made the catch at the wall. It's a good play there to make him grab his back up against the wall. Coming to the plate, Cliff Floyd. What a catch. That play was pure self-defense. Right is next up. Oh, I'm surprised the batter wasn't all over that delivery. It seemed like a perfect pitch to just crush. Swings and misses, and that's a stride. Grabbed by the right fielder. Next at the plate, Mike Cameron. The pitch is pulled out to the left side. There's an out. After three and a half, no score here. Now, now batting, Jim Tomey. And the delivery. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher's throwing all of his pitches over the plate. The pitch is taken to the left side. One out. Next up, David Bell. Line drive smashed at the third baseman. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls a baseball would judge. Catches the inside corner for a strike with the curve. He swung through the pitch. Great pitch in the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. The fielder is retreating. Over the shoulder. What a catch. After four innings, the game is scoreless. Leading off the inning, Jason Phillips. Jason Phillips. Takes low. Phillips hops it up to the catcher. He catches it in foul territory. Digging in, Pedro Martinez. That's one out. Here we go. Ball. 
in there for a strike. That pitch was close to the strike zone, and the batter swung right through it. That's a three-pitch strikeout. Hey, the pitcher wins the battle. Sweet pitch to get the K. To the plate with a single already in the game, Jose Reyes. He pulls one on a line. Heading into the bottom of the inning, no score here. Stepping in, Mike Lieberthal. Hit towards the shortstop. Phillips with a nice pick. Reyes made it look easy on that out at first, Kite. That'll bring up Kenny Lofton. Now the manager's got to be thinking, do I play it safe and bunt, or do I let him swing away? Let's see what he does. He's on first with a base hit. It looks like he saw something he could handle in that at bat and got a single out. Here's Randy Wolf. There's a push bun. That's out number two. Martinez made it look easy on that out at first, Kite. Now batting, Jimmy Rollins. This guy from both sides of the plate, he puts up better numbers batting left-handed. That'll do it for the Phillies in the fifth. After five innings, the game is scoreless. Stepping into the box to lead off the inning, Paz Matsui. He laces it up the middle. He leads off the inning with a single. He didn't really do anything special on that swing. He put the bat on the ball and it didn't get caught. Scored a single. There's a line drive. He's on first with a hit. That's another hit given up by Wolf. The next batter is Mike Piazza. Kite, the guy standing in right field has his share of outfield assists. Look for the runner to stay at third if it's hit to right. Kite, he had to be looking for another pitch. That looked really hittable. Nobody out. Hops him up. The umpire signals the infield fly rule. Okay, this guy didn't have a whole lot of success at the dish today, but this hits will come. Floyd sends this one into shallow center field. And he scores the first run of the game. Two RBIs on the double. He kind of, that's the best of both worlds here. He drove in two runs and now he's on second where a base hit will score him. That's great work. Next at the plate, David Wright. That's an intentional walk. They decided to pitch around him, and I wonder if that's going to come back to haunt him. Stepping in, one for two, Mike Cameron. The pitch is hit to center field. Lofton makes the routine catch. Cormier is warming up in the bullpen. Well, Kai, he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. Fielder made an now easy play. Jason this guy does not have much protection with the pitcher batting ninth behind him. Phillips takes inside a ball. ball. Pitch taken for a ball. Zero bite on that curveball. He sends this pitch to left. Burrow should have no problem. The side is retired. The home team coming up next.
score two that half inning. Polanco is next at the plate. He sends a hooking liner to left. That was not an easy play. Stepping in, Bobby Abreu. You better not let this guy get off base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. Two outs. Kipe, this dude did not bring his A game in, but hey, in fairness, he can't be on all the time. Fouls the pitch away. Swing and a miss on the slider, low and away. He popped him up. That'll do it for the Phillies, and there's three innings left to play. Hey, partner, he may not want to think about this game for a while, and it hasn't exactly been a shiny moment in his career. Coming to the plate, Pedro Martinez. Swing and a fly ball to center field, hit well. Lofton makes the play for the out. Kai, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. Now you can tell from up here that he has nothing to do. Hit sharply in the left field for a single. He reaches with a base hit. Stepping in one for three, Kaz Matsui. I think the pitcher should throw to first base just to see if the batter gives away the butt or not. He's on with a single. Good execution there. Now they have a runner in scoring position and they're threatening. Stepping in one for three, Carlos Beltran. Watch this left fielder. He's got one heck of an arm. One ball count. Last season, he batted 267 with 38 long balls and 104 runs batted in. Grabbed by the right fielder. Made a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Here's Mike Piazza. And the delivery. He hits the pitch up the middle. There's a run. That's an RBI single. I'll tell you what, he went out there with a mission, and I'd say mission accomplished. That is clutch. And that's another run surrendered by Wolf. He hacked at it and missed. The ball is drilled to left. Out number three, and we'll go to the bottom of the inning. Hey, partner, it's time now for the seventh inning stretch. Didn't you sing recently at Wrigley Field? Oh, I sure did. When I was in the league, I could pitch in front of 50,000 people, but that was like throwing in my backyard. Singing the take me out to the ball game at Wrigley, I was scared to death. Next up, David Bell. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Early swing and he missed it. He just missed that by about a yard. He sends a roller to the right side. Out! That'll bring up Pat Burrell. He crushed that one. Floyd runs it down. Hey, partner, that's not an easy play to make. Well done. Up next with one single already, Mike Lieberthal. God, he had to be looking for another pitch. That looked really hittable. Ground ball hit down the left side. That ends the inning. The Phillies trail by three, but there are still two innings remaining. 
Wright takes his turn at bat. He sends this pitch to center. That's a leadoff single. Now batting Mike Cameron. The ball is hit up the middle. He couldn't hold on to the ball. It's a base hit. That's all for him today. They're going to the lefty, Riel Cormier. Stepping in one for three, Jason Phillips. In the on-deck circle is the pitcher. He sends it foul to the left. Now, I don't think sacrifice butts are this guy's specialty. He sends it back up the middle. A run scores on the play. I don't care what it is, pitching, fielding, defense. Just like everything else, base running is pure anticipation. Right here, the runner anticipates a hit, he gets it, and right away he scores easily from second. That is big leagues right there. The next batter is Pedro Martinez. Yeah. The Mets will send up a pinch hitter. First and second with nobody out. The pitch is taken out to right. Abreu will get there. The ball settles into his glove for the out. Stepping in two for four, Jose Reyes. First pitch. Up the middle. A run crosses the plate. Partner, one reason these guys are tough is because they're always aggressive on the base paths. Now that showed right there as the runner was able to score from second on the single. Grounder hit down the line. He goes out to right. And he makes the catch. The batter just got under that ball a little too much, and the fielder was able to get over and make a good play. Beltron takes it for ball one. Close pitch right there, but the batter let the curveball go by, and the umpire called it a ball. Ball out of the zone. Close pitch right there, but the batter let the curveball go by, and the umpire called it a ball. It's hit out towards short. That's the third out with men left on first and second. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is five to nothing. He's thrown his last pitch in this game. Here's the new pitcher, Pedro Feliciano. Next at the plate, Kenny Lofton. With the speed this guy has, he's always a threat to steal a base. Lofton hits this pitch to short. One out. Digging in, Todd Pratt. Pratt hits this pitch to short. Now, Next up, Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy. Oh. On the ground. 
He retires the side in order. With one inning remaining, the score is five to nothing. At the plate with one RBI in the game, Mike Piazza. Pitch misses for a ball. Rip deep into center field. He's headed to second. Into second with a double. Batters at this level will turn mis-executed pitches into hits all the time. Stepping in, Cliff Floyd. On the ground. He's on first with a base hit. He finds a hole in the infield and just squeezes the ball through. Stepping in one for three, David Wright. Fly ball yanked to left. Burrow puts it away with ease. Made a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Up next, Mike Cameron. This guy runs like the wind. You better go right after him. You do not want to put him on for free. Squeeze play. Here comes the runner. Two outs. Hey, that's a heck of a job by the pitcher. He made a good play to throw out the runner. He wants to go right after this guy so the pitcher will lead off the next inning. Up the middle. A run scores. RBI base hit by Phillips. That was a shot. Good thing he didn't hit anybody. He could have taken an infielder's arm right off. If this guy gets the bat on the ball, even a foul ball, he'll be happy. He's not a strong hitter. They're setting up a pinch hitter. That one was off his hands. Oh and two. Batter went fishing for a pitch out of the zone. Now that's a purpose pitch. Gives it a ride deep to center. Lofton should have no problem. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. The batter gave the field a little too much of an uppercut swing and the fielder was able to corral for the out. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the Mets lead by a margin of six. The Mets go to the bullpen. The manager goes with the righty, Braden Looper. Coming to the plate, Lacedo Polanco. Here's the delivery. He delivers 0-1. He hits a fly ball to shallow right field, and it drifts foul. He sends this pitch to center. He's got it for the out. He picked that ball up right off the bat and camped under for an easy out. Next at the plate, Bobby Abreu. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Phillips puts it away for the out. Hey, 
That'll bring up Jim Toby. Not close. That's a ball. Kind of looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Tommy, it's this pitch to short. This one is over. The win is picked up by Pedro Martinez. The loss is charged to Randy Wolf. The New York Mets win it by six.